of the things. Um, and unfortunately, it's the luck of the draw. All right, he's back. Let me add him back in. Uh, you know, it, it, perhaps it's lucky to draw. You Hello. know, I got hey guys, you back. Sorry about that. No problem. Yeah, man. I'm back. All right. Um, you know, basically what I was saying is, you know, when it comes to, you know, wh whether it be player one advantage or the input bug. I mean, I hear a lot of people just oh. say, just patch it. You know, it's it's sometimes easier said than done. Um, I'm sure now they that NRS has had time. They've they've isolated it. And I won't. You won't see a patch because it costs money. Uh, to put out a patch is going to uh, cost okay. money. Um, you know, people thought that right before Evo, maybe they were going to do a patch, but realistically, it's just not. It's not realistic uh, uh, to do. Um, you're not going to do nerfs and buffs two or three weeks before. You know, Evo, where guys have been playing the game for you know a year. And they already went through three or four patches and then patch it again. It was one of the reasons PL kind of got frustrated originally was because they changed Kung Lao dramatically. They had to. You know, and he still... Yeah, it was necessary. It, it was necessary, <laughs> it, but not really. Not really, because, I mean, if you think about it, somebody's got to, you know, and, and this is where, you know, once again, I'm sorry to the young bucks out there. I call you Generation P because, you know what, this pussy mentality that every character's got to be the same. Why can't one character be good and one character be bad? You look at a character like Zangief, you know, and Capcom's guilty of it too. You know, original Zangief was slow as balls, but when he got in and it did his 360 pile driver, he sucked three quarters of your energy out. Mm -hmm. But it was a task to get in. But then the people bitched about how hard it was to get in, so we'll give him a slap where he could slap fireballs. Will make the spin so it go, you know, so fireballs go through it. Um, a character, ha one character has to be the best, and one has to be the worst. You know, to have everybody balanced in a in a, in a perfect world, basically says, yeah. well, why make multiple characters? Yeah. Just make two characters, if everybody's going to be equally balanced. I think the idea is to make them equal but different. You know, well, I mean, I wouldn't want them equal. You know, I use Baraka for that reason. I use Baraka for... Baraka is ass. Baraka is, in my opinion, the worst character in the game. Nah, Not nah. nah. I, I ain't find Baraka is the worst. Nah, he's not nah. the worst, James. Uh, who would you put worse? Kano? Um, let me see. Yeah, Shiva or something. Nah, hells no. Hells no. Fucking Shiva's good. Shiva's good. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got you got to get some American Shiva yeah, she going, va, man. Shiva strong, yeah. Shiva strong. She she takes long plenty life. Um, Baraka, Baraka, not that bad, James. I don't think so. He's I I, think he's, he's bottom three. I don't think Kano is the worst either. All right, well, well quick thing, guys. Quick things. Uh, let well, Ronaldo's got to go. Let him say his goodbyes real fast. Okay. Yeah, guys. Uh, well, yeah, like I said, thanks a lot for having me here, James. Not uh, a problem, We man. should definitely anytime. have another talk one more time. I, I really enjoyed it here. Yeah, anytime, I'm sorry that man. I have to leave now, but um, yeah, shout out to all the people. Uh, Video X Games, you know, it's going to be down next year, July the 11th. If you want to experience the Caribbean and you want, you plan to take a vacation next year, this is the, this is what you got to do. Check it out. James is going to be here. All these Trinidadian gamers are going to be here, as well as uh, Gross is going to be there as well. And also look out for Gross at MLG Rally. He's going to be up there for that tournament. And, um, oh, L.I. Joe is also going to be down here um, for the tournament as well. So a lot of the pro gamers are coming. So you guys definitely got to check this out. It's going to be one hell of a party in St. Martin. Mm -hmm. And uh, James, drinks on me for you, bro. I got you. Not a problem, man. <laughs> I'll be down the next week. <laughs> All right. Cool, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming on the show. Uh, glad to have you on, man. Anytime you want to get on, just hit me up. I'll hit you up for sure. Thanks a lot for the opportunity. Shout okay. out Video X Games and everyone listening. Peace. All right, man. All right. All right. Yo, um, James. Yes. I want us to um to talk about Trinidad a little bit. Okay. Um, so if if we thinking about like getting some players, you were you were talking about making a drive on a donation or fund well for players and what what you had in mind then? I mean, I don't, you know, because, I mean, I know, like I said, my wife from Ecuador, so, I mean, I know how they are with giving visas away. They're not eager to give visas away. So, I don't know, you know, who's got, who don't. Um, 
you know, the way I would look at it, um, I would put a drive together to get your top three players down there, which means between now and, you know, between now and I don't know, I don't know what kind of time frame, like I said, as far as the visas go. What's realistic? Obviously, Raleigh's not realistic <laughs> right now. I don't think in a month you can get a visa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that too soon. You know, but MLG in Dallas, does anybody know what the date for that is? I don't even know if I we have, have a date no for idea. that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it, you know, MLG <clears throat> for Dallas might be three, four months away. I don't know if November 2nd and 4th is what Black no, Black, uh, Black Hill is saying. So, I mean, is November 2nd and 4th more realistic? You know, that you guys could deter to determine your top three players. Well, the thing is, we have a, um, hmm. our top three players, hmm. sometimes it rotates. We have a tournament coming up right now, Ace Tournament, Big Up to Gaming Tournies. They are throwing it. That is um, August the 25th. It's supposed to be a good-sized tournament down here in Trinidad. Yeah, um, it'll be good. Yeah, some of the players that were not at the previous tournament supposed to be there too, so... It's a $2,000 cash prize, so um, people are going to show up. It's going to bring the, what, what, what is our entire community together. We're expecting everybody to come out. And, um, you know, Lou and, and Turnal, they, they work hard be behind these tournaments. I know how um, they, hard it is for them to get spots to throw tournaments. And, um, you know, they support the MK community a lot in Trinidad. And... Um, yeah, they so, do. they're doing good stuff. So, we are going to go to that tournament, and hopefully, what they said they were going to do is um, is a, a ranking system. So, if we have a ranking system from maybe it, it, it started. Rondell, oh, you, you, you got to move yourself going? down a little bit. Rondell, you there? <laughs> Who's that coming from? That's coming from Rondell. That's coming from Panda. That's coming from Panda. I just put Panda in here. Where's all that noise? Where's Panda, boy? Put on one mic. Panda, boy. There the you go. <laughs> I didn't forget about you, Panda. <laughs> Guys, I got another Trinidadian on here. These are the three Trinidadians that are pretty much, in my opinion, um... You know some of the top faces of the scene down in uh, down in Trinidad, um, as uh, <laughs> as as Desron and Vincent were saying, uh, I'd like to get a drive together to get these guys up to whether it be uh, you know MLG in November or even one of our majors on the East Coast um, or any major, just to get them out here, just to get them. Uh, Get them playing some of the U.S. people. Let them see, you know, what our scene's like. I mean, U.K.'s come out here. Let these guys determine their top three players in your own way. And we're going to see if we can get you guys out we here. Would, we, would, we, would, we would take yeah. U.K. hands down. We would take U.K. hands down. <laughs> Seriously. Ketchup, mustard. Um. <laughs> wow. Call him out. Wow. Blasting the U.K. He's no, 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 calling out the U.K. I am, I am so serious. We would take UK hands. So we, we, um, we, we have a we have a lot of good players. We have we have take bus face right now. He's on stream watching. You know, sometimes he trolls and stuff. We have a, we have another player called Lance. Lance, yeah. he's really yeah. good. Take bus Liam, face is really Liam good. Liam is good. Liam, Liam is, good. is good. We have good players in Trinidad, man. Um, okay. So so like I was saying, um, we have also. we have a ranking system <coughs> going on. Let me let me With let them. me just interject a to totally totally different. Hey, Revolver. Napalm is not going to be put on blast. Um, the reason Napalm's not going to be put on blast is because, from what I saw, uh, the issue with Wonder Chef, Wonder Chef deserved it. Anyway, go on. Okay, yeah. So we have, um, but we have various organizers in Trinidad. We have Trini Gamers. We have Game and Tony TT. We yeah. have. Um, so anyway, the the the, the idea is. Um, if we could organize to have one ranking system through both of these um, organizations, because these are the main two, as far as I know. I mean, um, we have Groff and Arby in, um, in, in, in I Play Cafe in town, and then we have Game and Tony City, who usually throw their tournaments in, um, in UE. But um, if we could get like one ranking system for these 
two organizations and just have a top three um, players for like by the time ML <coughs> by the time the time comes for MLG for us to choose three players to go to MLG, you just choose the top three in out of those ranks. Instead the of having is, two different ranking systems. The thing is, Vincent, we need the thing is for that too, we need a little more tournaments like what you and Ronald was talking about. Yeah, we need we need monthly chat. tournaments. And I, I spoke it. to them, I spoke to everybody already, but we need um, a few you know, things more tournaments and that would determine who really, you know? So yeah. by the amount of games and um, the amount of points and all that now. So yeah. um James, one more thing I wanted to say. Okay. The, um in 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 VXG, the spirit of the Dominican players, like we were talking about last night, mm -hmm. it was insane. These guys were taking it like a World Cup, like if it was football. Oh yeah. And, if, uh, if you look yeah, at, if you look at Evo, like I was trying to say to you earlier, if you yeah. look at Evo, the Latin American countries take mm. such a passion. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. running around like Superman with their country flag on their back. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, they're doing chants, they're singing, you know. It's yeah. it's really mesmerizing, you know, to see how, you know, other people from other countries take this game, you know, and it's not the whole country because, you know what, you go up to little Mamacita, you know, she don't know nothing about Mortal Kombat, but you know what? <laughs> There's 10, 15, 20 kids in a town that, you know, or, or towns like you guys. I'm sure none of you guys ain't all around the block from each other, mm -hmm. you know, and and people have joined together, you know, based off of, of a common interest, which is whether it's Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, whatever, whatever the game is. And you compete against each other viciously, but at the end of the day, you're united by your country. And it yeah. almost makes it like an Olympic event. Exactly. This, okay, so this is the point I was getting to. If if we could get game into a point where you not you no longer represent yourself and you no longer worry about sponsorship, you you go and you represent your country. If if we have a world tournament, something like a World Cup, where where you're not representing yourself, you're representing your country. Your country will be your government will be more inclined to sponsor you to send you to this. Eh, our government's broke. Well, they <laughs> can't even they can't even send the kid to college anymore. Hmm. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. When you when you when you play for something more than just yourself, you tend to be more passionate about it, and that that's the that's the energy that these Dominican guys were given. Oh yeah, yeah, but these Dominican guys, I wouldn't lie, they were all into any any game like any fighting game they play they real into it. They have a league, you know, they they, they they they're just passionate about it, just like how the Asians are. When it comes to the Koreans, when it comes to StarCraft, Starcraft Korea yeah. takes StarCraft serious. They have big stadiums and screens and things just for StarCraft. The players you gotta get a professional mm. gaming license in Korea to play it pro in a pro level. Yeah, is 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 actually yeah. the national sport of Korea. Yeah. <laughs> I Google them, it them, actually. Them players and them known known like like how we, we have football players that actually known as professional players. The players they are known like that. Starcraft school and thing, people could get kicked out of school for oh, yeah, browsing Facebook and all kind of thing. <laughs> them have Starcraft school in a 13 hours a day. They're playing for let me, uh, let me, let me, let me just interject. Hey, Doc Natus, you got any more questions? Yeah, I got a, I had a couple feeling. more questions here. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, got Sonic Fox asking questions. Uh, yeah, we, we gotta love his questions. <laughs> I got a question from uh, Hey, I'm Miss Hey, I'm Pikachu. Nice fucking name, oh, man. I don't know why I got a name like that. James, how many cigs do you smoke in a day? <laughs> Two and a half packs. <laughs> yeah, you smoke more than me. I'm at a, a pack and a half right now. Shit. James. All right. Um, from Club Von Stroke. This is for Gross. We need a translator again. Does Gross think he can? Does Gross think he will beat CD Junior Smoke with Sector? Max, are you there? I think we lost Max. Uh. Translate. Uh, I think Vincent was translating before. No, actually. No, 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 that was Ronaldo. That was Ronaldo? Yeah. All right, we lost yeah. Ronaldo. Max, uh, pick up. You yeah, bastard. Fuck. He's like typing in the chat, but he's not fucking listening to what we're saying. Hey, guys, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we hear you. Translate. Hey. Yeah, we hear you. <laughs> I'm playing some matches with Ryan Fourier. What's happening? Let me play. Translate. 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 Ask him the question again. Translate it, Maxter. All right, uh, Maxter. All right. Does Gross think he will beat CD Junior Smoke with Sector? 
This is from Club One Stroke. Okay, Gross, él dice que si tú crees que tú le puedes ganar a la City Junior, al Smoke de City Junior con tu sector. Ah, oh. pero eso es lo de menos. Okay. So that's too easy. <laughs> damn, Junior yeah, getting blessed all street, night. Man. Damn, what the hell's going on with City Junior, man? <laughs> hey, yo, I just wanna, I just wanna give some shout outs, you know? Oh, Big yeah. up to City Junior. That's go. my. I got, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yendo, Robin, right? Tell Junior, I, tell uh, Junior to come on here. Dile algo, gross. A tu muchacho. Dile que me chancen, oyeron. Que esto es mentira. Esto es dándole payola. <laughs> hey Maxter, Maxter, tell Junior, put Junior on here, and let's let's let let him put uh, Mr. Gross on blast. Uh, okay, let's do it. Let's do this. Uh, Junior, <laughs> right, right now Gross sounding like he laughing all kind of mm. thing. Sounding like he talking and laughing. He's, uh, Junior said that he's reading a book. Come on, Emmanuel. Gross, if you me gonna. He's si such a woman. Concepto, yo con Quintana, con Scarlett, me retiro. Yo no tengo que traducir porque hablo español, ¿viste? Mío, yo estoy muchacho. No, no hay problema con eso. Traduce lo que dice. Is CD Junior afraid? No, pues. Uh, that, that was me, uh, CD. Dile lo que dice. Dile lo que dice. Say he's reading a book that that's more important than the show. Oh, damn. He didn't read like a book. This show. He can't why. even. He can't even read. What is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me get to my next question Go over ahead. here. All right. This is from um, MK Salva Salva Salival uh, James MK. Um, ask wait. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna. What be the hell? Right. Hold on. I'm trying to. People, you gotta ask these questions the right way, man. I don't I speak Ebonics over here. What the fuck? All right. James MK. The re regardless of the name of this show. Is the main goal to actually reconcile beasts throughout the community? Um, it's a little of both. Um, it's it. The show is intended that, I guess you can call it the Jerry Springer of a, of of the MK community. I don't mind people getting uh, blasted. Is it true James AK dropped out in third grade? No, I punched my third grade teacher though. Um, but no, I, the point of the show is to try and unite the community, bring up issues that. A lot of people are too emo to bring up. Um, it's also to try and get different parts of the world, like we got Trinidad, you know, we got St. Martin, we got we got uh, Dominican Republic. I'm looking to eventually have uh, more UK guys, some Irish guys. I want to start reaching out to Eastern European countries, get these guys on the show um, with the intent of giving them exposure. So this way, um, hopefully... The tournament scene can grow. Um, and, you know, like I said, people will just meet. You know, it's great meeting people. You know, you go to a tournament, somebody you talk to for, you know, a, a half a year on, on a chat group. And you never meet them. And you actually go and you meet them. And, you, you know, and at the same time, you know, is there a, a darker side to this show? Hells yeah. You know, I mean, I want... You know, for example, before I leave, I'm sure the Trinidadians want to put somebody something on blast. And this is going to be their their medium to get that out there. So that answers your question. All right. I got I got one more question right now for the time being. This is from uh, Sonic Fox to James. James, have you ever ha have you ever thought about the feelings of the people you put on blast? Yeah, I do. And I say to myself, the people that get put on blast, um, it kind of goes hand in hand with, you know, I ain't trying to rip a Band-Aid off of a cut, but some people sh sold me out during the MLG crisis I was having. Um, and nobody really thought if I even, I guess people think I'm Vulcan or something and I don't have feelings. Uh, but I felt betrayed. Um, I ain't going to get all emo about it. Life goes on, but... I consider people's feelings. I mean, I've talked to PL, and I put PL on blast, I think, just about as much as anybody. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, to be completely honest, I respect him as a player, and he's a nice guy. Um, but I just believe, or should I say, I self-designated myself not to shut my mouth. If I say something, it's usually because I feel it or believe it. I have one question, James. Mm -hmm. 
Um, what do you think about Tekken Tag 2 coming out? Do you think that's gonna um, take some something away from the Mortal community? I don't think Hell it's gonna no. take. I don't think it's gonna take from the Mortal community. Um, I think it's just gonna be an addition, and it's actually a pretty good addition. Mm. Um, I think the game. You know, in fact, you know what? I'm going to uh, pause for one second here, and what I'm gonna do is. I saw this video, and I have to put this video on, cause you know what? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm putting 16 bit on blast. Um, he basically said that he would bang, uh, he would, he would actually bang Katana. Um, I don't know. She looks. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, uh, <laughs> but I gotta say something. When I saw this. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where? When I saw this video, it made me say, "Geez." We can't see it. I know you can't yet. Okay. When I saw this video, guys, it made me want to play the game. And I hate chick characters. Please, uh, wow, it's making me just want to watch the game. Okay, let's see. What is that? It's hot chick from Tekken, man. That's what you're seeing. Oh, yeah. I saw Nina before. Hide and seek, nature be put you to sleep like one and she wrap my tie around your neck. That's what I call the freak on a leash. Now that made me actually want to play this game. <laughs> I, I still just want to watch it. I can't play that game anymore. But the video was definitely hot. You know, that video is hot. Without yeah, a doubt. It is look nice. You know, and, and the fact that... The fact that... Uh, it is so freaking hot. I mean, and I hate chick characters, but they actually make the game look attractive. Um, somebody's a asking about me hacking up a lung. I'll probably hack up a lung in like another 10 years. Um, right, I'm gonna, I want to ask one more question over here, then okay. we got to get on to the next session soon. Okay. Uh, last question, then we'll have the Trinidadian say the last piece of words. Um, last question is for Gross. Um, Gross, what do you think of the Smoke versus Sector matchup? This is coming from uh, D DZG Smoke. Uh, Gross, ¿qué tú piensas del matchup entre Smoke y Sector? Muy buena la pelea. ¿Pero quién tú crees que está en ventaja para ganar? Para mí, eh, no te lo sé decir porque yo juego con ambos, pero para mí Sector. You heard him, guys. I mean, he said that he believes that Sector has advantage. I believe that also, you know, because I play against KT Smith and it's not that bad really for Sector. Especially when Sector had his, his dash before the latest patch. All right. Now, do we have any final words from our guests? I guess we could start with, uh, with, start with Gross with his final words. No, no, see you in the Yeah, Maxter. Oh, say that again? Uh, we're um, going to let Gross go now. So tell him if he has anything he wants to say to anybody out in the community, anybody he wants to put on blast. He obviously did a good job putting Junior on blast. 
Um, anybody else and anything he wants to say, shout outs and whatnot. Okay, uh, Gross, uh, James dice que si tú quieres uh, de dejarle saber dicho algo a la comunidad, si tú quieres meter a alguien al medio, ¿te entiendes? Y nada, que te expresa ahí, si quieres decir algo. ¿Qué yo puedo decir? <laughs> no, no tengo nada que decir. Tú eres un hombre de pocas palabras. <laughs> sí, más o menos. He said that he doesn't have much to say. He said what? <laughs> he doesn't have much to say, really. Uh, Action's going to speak a lot of the words and uh, MOG, I guess, right? He doesn't want to put nobody on blast or anything. <laughs> he just play. He, he just destroy people. That's what he said. Yo solo de mato. Yo solo abro con control en la con control en la mano. Yeah, he doesn't wear control in his hand. <laughs> All right. All right, Max. Uh, Max, any last words from you, Max? There. <coughs> ha ha. Ha ha. Max, they could stick around. I got Max. I got to go through Max there a little bit. We'll okay. Keep him around. Hey, uh, CD Junior, why is it fuck you, James? Huh? Junior, wait. He has his earphone. He said. <laughs> no. Something the computer. I would destroy. I right. first of all, I got monkey chime. I will put this hole. And I'm not even talking about MK. I'm talking about MK, Street Fighter, KOF, Tekken, you name it. I will do a money match with anybody from any game on a drinking contest. <laughs> Beer pong? No, straight up drinks. I don't care. Whatever and whatever your drink of choice is, whether it's whether it's moonshine, parahara azul, eh, eh, Jack, fucking, you name it, beer. So, it don't so matter. James, you could drink anything then. I drink anything, including gasoline. I don't care. <laughs> okay, okay. It don't matter, man. I'm, I just, if, it, if it's alcohol, I'm for I'm it. One alcoholic. Uh, I'm 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 German and Irish, two biggest alcoholics combined in one. Yeah, yeah, I know Irish. I like to drink. Sick. My boy used for glue couldn't even keep up with me, man. Fucking Irishman drinking his Guinness. I'm putting Ireland on blast. American Irish are better drinkers than Irish Irish. I don't know uh, who who here we thinks they can drink. Have some local strong. We have some strong drinks in Trinidad, and I wonder if you could come along and. Take a drink, punching, and you want some punch? Hey, I, I'll drink. I'll drink whatever you got. I just came back from Carnival in Ecuador. I was drinking ninety-eight percent, you know. So I mean, unless you got percent, <laughs> yeah. That's fucking poison. pure sugar cane. James, you need to take down on the drinking and the smoking. Damn nah, you, know. you only live once. Right, my, James, my daddy James. says, my dad, my dad raised me to believe quitters never win. So I don't quit nothing. <laughs> And again, all that too, so. You know, you have too long. I'm like 75, dude. <laughs> 75. Couple of my up. No, yeah, James, you want to run that video that we're supposed to be running? Yeah, I'm going to run one more video wait, wait, here. Wait, 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 I'm not going to let you guys um, go yet, so don't worry. Yeah, James, I have to um, run, right? So. Okay. Um, I just want to say thanks for giving us this opportunity to be on the show. Not a problem. And, uh, I'm hoping, like right. I said, everybody out there. Remember these guys, because these guys are coming for you guys. And um, I want to shout out B-Wiz, who is my um, Raiden idol. And I just want to let him know that he no longer has the best Raiden in the world. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. B-Wiz on blast. It's B-Wiz on blast. Yeah, so B-Wiz on blast. <laughs> damn. Anyway, good night, everybody. All right, man. All thanks right, for man. coming. Anytime, man. Right. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah Phoenix. Yeah. Okay, I am going to run a quick commercial before I let you guys go. Mute your mics, though, because they can still hear you talk over them.
good test in the other corner. I think he did too. All right, guys, uh, that's Trip Sessions. These are the guys that are uh, working with me right now to uh, help get the All name right, guys, of On Blast uh, out that's there. That's Trip Sessions. These are the guys that are um, pretty much, uh, you know, these guys uh, have had my back from day one with the show. Um, beyond you guys, obviously, without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. If you guys turned me, told me to stop this, then guess what? I'd stop it, you know. But, you know, the Illuminati, if they want me to stop it, that's too bad. I'm doing what I want to do. Uh, and with that said, I'm going to go back to the Trinidadian guys and Gross. Uh, you know, I'm going to let Gross go. Uh, I don't want to keep him no longer. I got a couple of more guests that are coming on in a little bit. And I'm sure uh, the Trinidadians want to get some uh, final arm blasts out there. I don't know what happened to uh, Ron L, though. He looked like he dropped off already. Yeah, we got... Uh, I, I, didn't got one I didn't see Ron L come on for the night. Yeah, I had him on here. Serious? Yeah. I don't know see him, apparently. I know he got work, too. So I don't know if he went to sleep or something. Um, anybody you want to uh, put on blast? I'm sure you uh, want to start some friction over there in the island. <laughs> Right now, to tell you the truth, man, I don't really want to put anybody on blast right now. People want to put me on blast. He take boss face there. He, he just type, <laughs> me, me, me. Yeah, he would like me to put him on blast. But I don't really have nobody to put on blast right now. I got one guy complaining. Hold on a second. Uh-oh. Is James looking for a cantaloupe? Is that, that's what everybody's wondering. Hey, Onitas. Yep. What about um, Combat Network VSM streams on Thursday? Last Thursday, you all had nothing. Uh, as of right now, Phil has taken a leave of absence from VSM. Uh, further than that, I don't know what else is going on because me and James are no longer a part of VSM. So you have to speak with them directly to find out what's going on with if and when Phil is going to be coming back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, okay, okay. What was that? Yeah, he had a question about VSM if I knew what was going on with that and I just told him pretty much that we're no longer part of VSM, so we're not sure what the status with Phil and the VSM stream is going to be happening right now. Well, <laughs> you're good. James, you're going on to make our next... <laughs> Is this trouble, then? What's that? I say like you okay, going and make an next um video with the um pumpkin and whatnot. With the cantaloupe? Yeah. I always, like I said, I always got cantaloupe in my house. One of the the healthiest things to eat, and it tastes wow. really, really good with vodka. Except I'm getting a cramp in my fucking head. Ow, yo, I'm getting a cramp. That's so, not good. So, so what is this drama thing with you all and VSM now? Uh. Basically, I was kicked out of VSM because certain people didn't like my show because I had guests on it that they didn't approve of. Um, I'm not going to get into the whole Illuminati thing, but uh, yes, lung cancer in healthy fruits too. Um, but 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 basically, uh, the fact that I put uh oh, Napalm wants to know that video. I, I'll play it again for you in a little bit. Uh, they didn't like the guests that I had on the show. Um, they asked me not to put them on. I didn't listen. In a nutshell, that's what it comes down to. So uh, They felt I betrayed their friendship. And I said, look, if that's how you feel, I gave you a choice to be on the show. And it was a, a, a peace deal I was trying to broker. But apparently... Uh, they didn't see it that way. 
they seen it as a slap in the face. So what wound up happening was they asked me to leave VSM. To be honest, you know, in my 40s, I don't give a crap. You know, for me, it's more of, uh, you know, I just like hanging out with the, the guys, which I'm not going to stop doing. Um, because I have a VSM in front of my, my name is irrelevant. Uh, now I'm OBS. And, you know, a, as far as our friendships go, it's still there, you know, with the, with the powers that be. But I just, you know, we don't see eye to eye. I see, yeah. this, I see this community going in one direction. They see it going in another. Yeah, we got differences of opinion. You know, I mean, I throw, as you look at my site, you know, I was told by certain powers that MKU is a messed up site, yada, yada, yada. And you know what? The guys have done nothing but throw support to me from day one. Um, you know, I, it, it's kind of like you're used to hearing certain things and the things that you hear, you assume the people are being straightforward with you. But, you know, a lot of the times, you know, people have a, people, a lot of people out there have their own agendas. Um, I make no qualms. You know, anybody that I deal with, I go, look, I ain't sponsoring you. I'm not putting a million dollars in your pocket. We could play. We can have a good time. We can enjoy the game. Um, but. I'm not going to turn around and, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to turn around and be censored by nobody. You know, my own parents don't tell me what to do. So, you know, some 20-year-old kid ain't going to tell me what to do. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Let me give a quick recap of what people might have missed earlier on in the show that I announced and everything. Uh, earlier on, I announced that... Uh, me and James are starting the, the, the group called OPS, which stands for On Blast Show. Uh, me and James are original going to be the first members of the, of the group. So we are now known as OBS Dark Nattis and OBS James MK. Also, we announced that uh, we have a third member to this group, which is OBS Guido. Uh, he's a Freddy player known out in Florida, which will be rep representing us uh, at a future event. Uh, I, I said it earlier, I, I don't remember what it was. Sometime, uh, I believe, the end of this month. Um, there's a tournament going down over there. Uh, if anybody else interested in joining OBS, uh, hit us up, private message us. We'll talk to you guys about it and everything. Um, also, uh, touchdown that we have opened our YouTube account. You can catch us on YouTube at um, YouTube the On Blast Show 2012. It's, it's posted in the information part of the stream. Subscribe to us. Catch the past episodes on there. Also, shout out to Trip Sessions. We have a link to their Facebook page. Uh, like them. They're, they're a big part of our group right now. They're helping us out in a lot, a lot of things. The promotional video you guys just saw was done by them. So uh, big shouts out to them also. Um, we will be getting to the next segment of the show soon. Uh, we are going to be having uh, uh, DQ Beats come on for a, for a little bit. And then we're supposed to be having K7 with our grand finale of the show. Uh, I know you guys want to hear what K7 is going to have to say. With that, um, I am going to let uh, somebody just broken drop. Oh well, I got a question over here for James. Uh -oh. oh shit! Oh shit! I'm gonna read this question right now. I I I, I and I assume you're in the chat right now. I'm in the this chat. Is, this is from Pig of the High. James MK. I'm Pig. I'm 30. Aquarius. ATL. Long walks on beach. I officially challenge you to a chug contest. I'm 19 and 0. You accept? Yes. Oh, shit. When is this going down? Well, um, I know he's going to be at one of the MLGs, but now I'm making the rule to this since you put the challenge out. Um, I don't care about your tournament. I don't care about your prize, but you better be able to show up and play the next day. You heard that, pig? I don't know what your limit is, so we'll go first to 50. <laughs> first to 50. <laughs> Pick it up. How do you feel about first to 50, Bo? What, uh, what beers I endorse is uh, <laughs> I endorse Spaten, Heineken, uh, Corona, pretty much any beer that's not Coors Light. I only support Coronas. 
I don't do the I don't I, I just don't do the the the, the cause light thing. Anything else but that. I mean, unless you want to do you know, unless you want to do my moonshine. I got I still got another quart of my moonshine. Um, I'm going to um, let me see. Do I have? I got to make sure my man's on here. Uh, DQ. Here we go. Let me. Make. And K7, I need you to get on too. I didn't see you on. He's on. He's on. He's 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 invisible. Okay, invisible man. All right. Um, another thing that I want to do here. Oh, that's right. Hey, Bam. That's right. It's on. You're coming to New York City. Oh yeah, that's right. I am going to take you to McSorley's. Okay, McSorley's <laughs> is a bar. Um, it's the oldest bar in New York. You order one, you get two. You order two, you get four. You order six, you get twelve. Um, all you have a choice is light and dark. Three or five beer chug contest. Who can chug the fastest? Fifty or hundred beers equals a dead pig. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know what we'll do? We'll 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 do this. We'll go to McSorley's, and the way we'll do it is we'll order ten beers each, and first to chug them all down. And they're very light, so you know you should be able to handle that. And you'll get a you'll get a change of pace in New York too at the same time. So I definitely accept that challenge. Um, you'll be up in New York. What, what's the date you're going to be up here? What's the, the... He said August 9th. August 9th. Okay. Yeah. So that's a few weeks away, like two weeks away. Okay. So with that said, uh, Gross, are you still there? No, he's there. He's there, well. Rose, tú estás ahí todavía? Claro, Messi. Hija de puta, god damn it. He said, of course. Of course I'm here. He's studying. He's downloading freaking players. <laughs> I'm going to let you, tell him I'm going to let him go. I appreciate him coming on the show. Anytime he wants to get on the show, he's more than welcome to. Uh, okay, Rose, ellos están diciendo que muchas gracias por venir al show. Que si tú quieres, te puedes quedar o te puedes ir. Y que tú eres más que bienvenido cuando tú quieras volver para el show. Ok, muchas gracias. Pues nada, nos vemos otro día hoy. Ya me voy a acostar. All right, he said thank you very much for having him on the show. And uh, he will gladly come. And we will see you, we will see you at MLG. Y que nos, nos vamos a ver MLG, he said James. Ok, gracias. Gracias, gracias, Gross. Okay. All right, good night, Gross. Buenas noches, Gross. I, I, yeah. I already hung up on him. Ok, next Yo, week. Max <coughs> Maxter. Maxter. Yeah. Yeah. Um. How long? How long do you take to learn a character? Like, if you have to learn a character, or you want to dis or you want to learn a new character to play someone, how long do you take? I really learn a character in like two days. Two two days. Yeah, I'm pretty good with the character. And do, do you like um? Do you go on the forums and test your might and check up like certain? Not really. It and all that. I, no, not really. I always make my own combos. I'm never going to check in combos or anything. Okay, okay, okay. I just check the frame data. It's very important. Like right now, I started using Kitana and yeah. already I was kicking everybody's ass here. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, and no, no. <laughs> That's, uh, that's Chris Dominican. He knows he's getting blown up by my yeah, you know. So, and, so you and T.D. Jr. and Crazy Dominican, you all play every day? Uh, not really. Like, we play, uh, we really play maybe like three times a week for a couple of hours. Yeah, and how much time. hours, how much hours you all put in, like, playing each other and thing? Well, I know now it might not be as much as it was back then. Mm. Uh, I didn't quite hear you. Can you say that again? Yeah. How much hours do you all play? Like when you all play for ED? Oh, okay. It depends. You know, sometimes like when we start playing, we uh, totally you know lose track of time. 
it, it depends, you know. Sometimes we can play for one, two hours, sometimes for like five hours, you know. Like right now, tonight, right? 48 was here and he was playing Crazy Dominican all night. And while, when I wasn't on the stream, it was because I was playing right 48 a little bit. Yeah. Oh, uh, this guy, uh, Sonja, he's got so much better. Every time he comes here, he has new tags. And it's crazy. You cannot cross him up more with anybody. Right, right. You see the thing about... Dominican Scarlet is pretty nasty also. It might be only one combo and you never get out of his traps anymore. Like, yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw. Better. You know, he likes rushing. And he was doing pretty good with Kitana, you know, rushing. But Scarlet can really rush now, so... This is a character that really fits crazy Dominican. So, what do you think about Scarlet? You think she's really good? Because I yeah, really like Scarlet too. She might be uh, top five in the game. She's pretty good. She's really under, I mean, unexplored. Yeah, I'm glad you agree with me, man. I find Scarlet is really good. She has some nice, she has nice um, the armor move where the, 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 the dash, the, the red, red, um, red dash. Yeah. Yeah, how she can make some nice setups and thing off of that. Yeah, but Scarlet, she has a lot of potential, really. Like, one combo and you don't know what's next, you know? Yeah, I know firsthand right now. I keep fighting against this Scarlet. Oh, yeah, you did? Online? Uh, a lot, a lot. Me, me and CD were playing for a few hours, like a few, quite a few nights. But yeah, but he wasn't that good, man, with Scarlet. Like no, no, that was recently. That wasn't that far back. Oh, like how long ago? Probably like a week ago, last time I played. Oh, all right. Yeah, we should go to VSM, and, you know. I mean, I know VSM is no more, I believe. They don't have field going there anymore. But we can still go and play, get together. You, 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 you know what I want you all to do for me? All of you all in USA and stuff. I mean, I know some sometimes people would fall out, and it might kind of divide the community, well, even though you all fall out, like VSM might fall out with whoever or whatnot, or you all might not be seen eye to eye, I still want you all to, you know, keep keep on track with MK9, still have love for the game. I like how James still, even though James not putting too well with VSM, he's still having this show and he's talking about MK9 still, so it shows that you all still have love for the game. And I really want us to push the game still and and I hope it, I hope it would be there next year for Evo too. So, see know? now, now here's the myth. I right? VSM isn't no more. It's not that it's no more. It's still there. I mean, I even go down there every Thursday. You That's know? the gamer edge, actually. But I don't really know what's happening. You know, so, we don't have Valley Stream Monster stream anymore. No, the stream is gone. The stream is gone. But I believe next week there's going to be a stream. I believe next week there's going to be a stream. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, OBS did kill VSM with one show. <laughs> no, we didn't kill nothing. You know, the people that choose to, to take their own path is, is, is their own decision. And I know Phil will be back. Um, you all should make up, man. You all should make up. We already did. He touched we just me. Got differences. Yeah, we just got differences of opinions. You know. That's it. Yeah. We're, we're still friends with them. We've just got difference of opinion. You know, I'm not gonna go. Right, I'm not right. going and beating Phil up. You know, or nothing like that. But you know, he sees uh, he sees it pretty much black and white, and I say there's some gray in the middle. You know. So, so would 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 on the blast show have a. Um like stream like clean like how vsm had a um stream where so right something now something play. something's going on um you know where next thursday i'm talking you know and i believe a couple of other people out there have talked to the same person ironically about getting them to stream um i'm trying to get them out there this weekend this week this thursday to stream uh moving equipment around is an issue um you know, I don't want to step on Phil's shoes, but, you know, I hate to say life goes on. Uh, so, you know, if he wants to come back, he's more than welcome to. And then I would hope he does come back. But, you know, if, if he's not, you know, if, if he doesn't reach out for people, then, you know, he's going to wind up basically, you know, having somebody else do the stream. All right. Well, I hope he does come back. 
So I'm going to. Uh, I have uh, DQ here. You with us? Yo. Okay, guys. Um, DQ is MK player out in Chicago. Um, I guess the proper terminology would be DJ producer. Uh, just producer. Just producer. He's a yeah. music producer. Um, I am going to uh, play a track from one of his. Uh, one of it, I'm going to play one of his songs, and I'm going to take a couple of minute break. Uh, pretty much piss wipe my ass and grab another beer. <laughs> um, and while that's going on, we're going to come back. We're going to talk to him. We're going to get K7 on there, and I believe uh, Mr. Mace Wind out there. Uh, who just jumped on to Skype might want to get on so he can hit me up if he wants to. Uh, do I suffer from poppy something? I'm sorry, monkey chime. I don't know what that is. But anyway, with that, I'm going to uh, throw this track on and I'll get back to you in a minute. Who else coming with the medicine like Kennedy? I took a wrong turn. I will never slump. See that day about as cloudy as a crystal ball. We'll buy a bad psychic who can never call. How it is, even worse, a correct future. I'm aiming for Metropolis like I'm Lex Luthor. Other words, I'm decapitating your side. It's like I'm on the pot and now we just say I'm mine. My attitude is like zero, subtract ten. So like I never saw your face, I don't let him in. So what you tell him? Every day these people never know. So why is it everything that you never show? It's what? Yeah, yeah I know you. Let it grow. You don't hear nothing either? Just hope you know. Oh. Yeah, he's not on the chest at Oh, oh. oh yeah yeah I hear and I I had my um I had my volume down I just turned it up Dude, I don't hear nothing I'm not even playing him Yeah he's playing some music Guys you're talking and playing right now Yeah yeah I'm hearing the music Some music is playing Dude I don't hear shit I'm hearing a rap a rap song They shouldn't be rapping on me <laughs> I'll switch it up, but still remain true to the Yo, end. Jane. And I promise I will never make a feminine record. Cause I can't see me dumbing down my existence. Nah, when I nah. rose up just to show them that I'm living. Dude, that's crazy so how y'all can hear and I can't. That's weird. Huh? DQ, did you put the stream volume up? What is uh, and if they never yeah, put the stream volume up. Oh, the stream? Oh, okay. I'm muted. Yeah, that is why you so would tell them. Every day's people never know. So why I sue? Oh, okay. I know what you're saying. I plant a seed, lay it down. That was just play the beat. <laughs> Don't play no lyrics. You know they hear everything you're saying. Alright, hold on, I gotta turn this one Alright, we went off line, then we're back on. So we're on our way. It's like a long time. Yeah, hold on. We just went off line, we're back on. I promise that I'm on mine. Tell the neck, but it can't be a close line. So what you tell them? Every day these people never know. So why I sue? Every day this is never show. I plant a seed, lay it down, and just let it grow. Sit back and say a prayer, and just hope you know. So how how can I play the stream without having it feed back? Hold on. <laughs> so what you tell him, 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 what you tell
Alright guys, I'm back. I got refill of beers. I cleaned out my cigarettes. Uh, let me, uh, I uh, just rolling over to the next track. Hey James, just play the instrumental. <laughs> hey, hey DQ, you, you kept talking over your own music, man. You know that, right? Yeah, because yeah, you know what? I got the stream chat muted, so I'm on feedback. <laughs> so that's about um. All right, I'm back. All right, I got to replenish your beers. Um, I got DQ here, uh, MK player, producer. Um, you know, I guess, you know, we're going to start with, uh, you know, are you affiliated with it? what MK players are you affiliated with? Are you GGA? Are you uh, uh, solo? Uh, is Okay, I'm, I'm eight. Okay, I'm originally from Chicago, but I moved to ATL for like a year to go to school, and get a change of scenery, and then I moved back to Chicago. So I do go to GGA, but I'm not Team GGA. So I'm affiliated with them, but I'm not Team GGA. I first started in Atlanta. So I actually got into the tournament scene by Pig of the Hut. Because I was just looking online when the game first came out. I was looking for tournaments to do tournaments in. And then I found Pig of the Hut. He was going to have his tournament at Georgia Tech. And so I found his gamer tag and sent him a voice message to say, hey, I'm interested in your tournament. He said, oh, cool, man. So he um, we fought online. He said, oh, you're really good. You should come out to the tournament. I said, okay, where is it? He told me Georgia Tech. So when I went to Georgia Tech, I went to the tournament, playing my Cyrax. <laughs> I never forget. I was doing combos. People was like, "Oh my god, that's 100% combos. It's ridiculous." And then that's when I met Clint. I met Batman. I met uh, Lord of the Fly for the first time. Pig, uh, Beanie Weenies, all them, all them cool guys. So we was just all playing, and then it started from there. And then ever since then, I started coming out to more tournaments in Atlanta, like Battle and Brew. And it was like you should do final round, so I did final round, and. <clears throat> That's it. So I did UFGT. Um, I'm thinking about going to Dallas for MLG, but I don't, I'm not sure yet. I still got if I got some money left. Well, I mean, shout out to Pig in the Hut. Yeah, there Pig is in there. We got that drinking contest. I don't forget. <laughs> so, uh, so who do you mean? Cyrex. Oh God! Another fucking Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> another. Max, man, Max is incredible Cyrus. Max, are you there? Or are you uh, off playing? He's off playing. Oh yeah, I'm here. I'm here. He's getting his matches in. He's getting his matches in. Um, so I mean, as far as the music goes, uh, you know, are you looking to? Uh, you know, what are you looking as far as, I, I mean, are you looking to make it big time? Is it a hobby? Is it, you know, I mean, I, I remember, I think I remember you were on a show, right? Yeah, I was on, um, I got handpicked by Red Bull. They did a producer competition like a few years ago. It was a tour. It was going for like three years. It was called the Red Bull Big Tune. Guys should Google it. It was a real big thing. You know, now Red Bull do all type of things like DJ battles, uh, B-Boy battles and stuff like that. Um, so like a few years back, they had producer battles where it was literally you submit your beats to them and then they handpick out of like millions of producers around the country to be in this competition. So I tried for like three years and I finally got in at the final year and they handpicked me and said, hey, we want you to come to St. Louis and compete in the Red Bull Big Song. Dude, it was like royalty, man. They, they, uh, as soon as I got to St. Louis, it was like they had this hotel with filet mignon and free drinks and a big old welcome party. Like, congratulations for making it in. I'm like, man, this is crazy. So we had, they had our name. They took our picture, um, professional pictures by Red Bull. 
So that's one of my pictures that I got on my avatar. Took the pictures. Um, the next day, the battle started and it was like a big crowd. You know, it had us on stage playing beats. So it's like left side and the right side. Left side producer one, right side producer two. And when you play your beats, they um they show your name on the big screen so all the whole crowd know whose beat is what. So you put, you battle to the end like best two out of three. Whoever got the best beat moves on to the next round, stuff like that. So I made it to the semifinals. If I would have won the semifinals, I would have made it to the finals into Chicago. So I just missed it because I lost to a producer that's from St. Louis and he brought his crowd. So it was all good, but it was fun. I had a lot of exposure after that. After that, my email started blowing up with all type of ANRs from G Unit. Atlantic Records. I'm like, man, it's crazy. So, I do it for a, it's a career path. I do it for a hobby. MK is my hobby. Like video games is my hobby, but music production is my career. So. All right. All right. Well, I mean, it's you know one of the things about this show is you know I want you know let's just say people with some artistic ability i mean i don't i want to get you know i i believe uh pigs in a band i'd love to get a couple of tracks from him on here i want people to actually see that beyond mortal Kombat, this community has other talents right. at its arsenal that uh you know for example it's it, it comes down to networking you know and right. You know, you're a producer, you might wind up not even knowing that there's some other guy uh, who has talent. What do we got here? Hold on a second. James A.K., do you believe gay marriage will negatively impact competitive video game play? No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> what does that have to do with it? I have. You know, sometimes <laughs> people just ask questions that are just fucking out there. Uh, oh, yeah. Pig, yeah, he's man. Literally, y'all know he's in a band. Like he's in a, uh, he played the guitar and shit. He's dope. So I'm like, man, Pig, you in a band? We all like musically inclined. He do audio engineering as well for like a church. So like, oh, so he know what type of stuff I do. So it's, it's pretty good to have somebody that's actually doing type of the same thing I'm trying to do. You know, and it's good. It's good. You know, the community as a whole. You know, I'm trying to break that stereotype. Of some big fat kid sitting in his basement, uh, eating fucking hot pockets, playing MK. <laughs> you know, basically shitting in a bucket because he's too lazy to get up and go to the bathroom. You right. know, um, there's a lot of talent in this community, and this ain't to to shit on the people who have professional aspirations. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, you know, can somebody besides Fatality and, and, and back in the day show me? a professional gamer per se you know that has a successful career at it right. and that's one of the things i try to stress to people is you know if you have a talent even if you don't, if nailing fucking nails into a wall is your talent you know so be it then be the best nail hat hitter you know right. but you know from my experience being on you know all three sides of the gaming community as a competitor as a developer as an author um you know i've i've realized that and i've told this to cd jr at the beginning with vvv i told them they were gonna fuck them you know there's a lot of vultures out there that'll promise you the world uh, right. in the end they pretty much are just gonna fuck you over you know if you don't offer them nothing then they're basically going to bail out on you. Uh, right. What happened to CD Jr. and the VVV fighting game division? You know, let's be honest. That was some ghetto-ass bullshit that they used as an excuse to turn around and say that because a guy didn't wear a shirt, I'm going to disband the whole fighting game community. You know, wow. in, in general, it don't make sense. You would kick that one person out. Mm -hmm. But you don't disband a whole fighting game thing and say, well, it, it, it's, it's just not working out for us. Um, you know, I would hope a lot of people out there see this and take it to heart that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we all compete, we all fight, we all talk shit. But at the end of the day, we are all friends, even me and PL, you know, I consider him a friend. Uh, but, you know, everybody's got to communicate to each other and hopefully 
you know, network with one another and, and figure out, you know, you're a producer, you might wind up finding, you know, two or three guys that are good MCs, you pull right. your shit together, next thing you know, you, you know, you're producing two guys. Right. You know what's crazy, like, you guys know Vin, I don't know if you remember, you, know, you guys know Vidi, Jimmy Von Vidi from yeah. Atlanta? Yeah. Man, it's crazy, like, he's actually a rapper and producer, he actually has a mixtape out hosted by, um... What's his name? DJ Who Kid, 50 Cent's uh, DJ. And he actually has a real mixtape by DJ Who Kid is out, it's, and it's pretty dope. I actually listened to it from front to back. I'm like, this is you? He's like, yeah, man, that's me. I'm like, wow, man, I would never know. So he's he's pretty popular in the music, too. Jimmy Von Vitti, he go by um, Gems. And I know a lot of people in the MK community that outside talents, like um, Lord of the Fly, he actually drums, like he was on a uh, drum line. And I told him I was in the drum line too at Georgia uh, Georgia State. I think he played at Georgia Tech. I think he said Georgia Tech. I'm not familiar, but I know he played quads. So that was interesting. And um, who else? I know Great One, he owns, he's trying to be a lawyer. He owns a law firm. So, you know, there's a lot of outside things people got going on that people don't really know about. That's pretty interesting in the community. And that's, you know, and that's one of the things that I'm stressing, you know, like I said. Everybody that's in the stream, if you got a talent, you know, and, and, I, and I hate to say it, you know what, I, I mean, I say about nailing a, uh, a nail into the wall, but if you got an artistic talent, whether it's music, I don't care if it's artwork, I'll display it on the show, you know, um, even though the show is on blast, uh, it ain't about putting everybody on the show on blast. Um, now, I don't know. I'm going to ask you right now, DQ, is there anybody out there that you do want to put on blast? Yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a friendly on blast, but I've been wanting, this, I've been wanting to fight this person for, like, ever. I'm going to call him out crazy. I want a Cyrus Mirror match, first of ten. Oh, shit. Oh, crazy getting called out. <clears throat> Are you going to attend any of the, uh, the MLGs? I'm actually thinking about Dallas because I got I got a refund check coming back from school, so I'm gonna have a big chunk of change. So um, I have to look at my schedule and see. I might be able to make it to Dallas. Because I don't know. I mean, that's uh, from my prediction. That's gonna be your closest bet to getting that match with him. Yeah. I'm sure he's going to Dallas. So is he going to rap? Is he going to um, Virginia? I don't know. I got. I'd have to reach out for him on that. But oh, okay. I mean, I definitely would think he would go to Dallas. It's a hell of a lot closer than uh, than than uh, Raleigh. Man, they used to do uh, Chicago MLG. They stopped doing it. They used to do it for like Halo. They did a lot of them at Halo here from uh, at McCormick Place. Well, that's because because Chicago's like ghetto ass New York, and the unions rule everything. So you can't even build a sh an event <laughs> without sixty five unions telling you you got to give me four hundred dollars to plug a freaking a plug into an outlet. Yeah. So it scares, you know, like New York, it scares all these conventions and shit like that away. I wish there was more, you know. I mean, New York, who's con which is considered like the heart of the world, uh, you know, pretty much, uh, you know. Why is he calling me back again? Darius is getting back in or something. Uh, you know, New York, which is pretty much the heart of the world, uh, you can't you can't run an outlet. You know, for less than six hundred bucks. Right. So I mean, you it, got, it makes sense. You get a lot of traffic, so I kind of see why they raise the price on it. That's why they had to go like close to like um, Columbus, some next door to a major city, not in the major city because it'd probably be cheaper. That's what it is. That's why a lot of people are going to Jersey now. Yeah. You know, Jersey. It's close enough to the city that after all, all your tournaments and everything, you all hop a bus, you go into the city, you drink and party. Um. Let me reach out to one more guy here and see if he's available. I don't see him. Uh, Who are you looking for? K7. K7, get on. Get on. I don't see you. You're invisible, man. Uh, you know, basically, like I said, you know, the whole point of this is to get guys exposure. So anybody out there that has a hidden talent, I mean, if somebody's out there and they're, and they're the best dick sucker, I'm sorry. I don't want you. I don't want to get you on the show. I don't need to see it. You know, whatever floats your boat. I don't begrudge any man's choices. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I said artistic talent. 
you know, that, that doesn't include autistic talent. You know, straight up artists, uh, musicians, uh, any of the arts. Um, what if it's a chick? Even if it's a chick, monkey chime, no. <laughs> I mean, if I want that, I can go to uh, shout outs to uh, xnxx.com. <laughs> Let me uh, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 my 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 preferred 